Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Strachan's matrix multiplication in divide and conquer approach. So Strachan's matrix multiplication is one of the sorry. Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Strachan's matrix multiplication in divide and conquer approach. So Strachan's matrix multiplication is one of the efficient matrix multiplication compared to the conventional matrix multiplication. So it can be developed by worker strashan. Okay. So before going to strashan's matrix multiplication, first how to multiply two matrices. Okay. So let us take two matrices A and B with the size N by N. Now we have to multiply these two matrices. Then we can get the resultant matrix that is C with the size N by L. Okay. How to multiply these two matrices? Okay. So now we can take the ith row of matrix A is multiplied with is multiplied with the jth column of matrix B. So in this way we have to perform the matrix multiplication. So for example, so this is matrix A. It contains four elements A11, A12, A21, A22. So here the matrix size is 2 by 2. Here L is equal to 2. That is 2 by 2. Now we can take another matrix with the size 2 by 2. That is L is equal to 2. So the elements in matrix B are B11, B12, B21, B22. Okay. So now we have to multiply these two matrices. So that is, then we can get the resultant matrix C. Okay, so C of high J is equal to sigma 1 less than or equal to K less than or equal to A of I comma K into B of K comma J. So by using this formula, we have to find out the resultant matrix C that can be obtained by multiplying these two elements with these two elements. So that is A11 into B11 plus A12 into B21. Next, A11 into B12, A12 into B22. Okay, so that is C1 value is this one and C12 value is this one. How can you get <coughs> C21? So that is A21 is multiplied with B11 plus A22 is multiplied with B21. Next A21 is multiplied with B12. A22 is multiplied with B22. Okay. So in this way we have to find out the multiplication of two matrices A and B with the size N is equal to 2. Then we can get the resultant matrix C with the size N by N where N is equal to 2. The elements in the resultant matrix C is calculated by using this formula. Then we are getting these values. So C11 this value, C12 this value, C21 this value, C22 this value. Okay. So it is multiplied with this one. Again it is multiplied with this one. So this is multiplied with this one. And this is multiplied with this one. Okay now 
C11, C12, C21, C22. Now observing this multiplication process, okay, how many number of products are there? The how many number of products are there? So this is one product, this is another product, this is one product, this is another product, this is one product, this is another product, this is one product and this is another product. How many number of multiplications are there? Eight multiplications are there and four additions are there. Okay. To perform this multiplication operation with the size 2 by 2 between two matrices, how many number of multiplications are required? Eight multiplications are required and four additions are required. So next, the computing time required to perform matrix multiplication with 2 by 2 matrix. So the recurrence relation P of n is equal to, if n less than or equal to 2, so the computing time is 1 unit time or constant time. If n greater than 2, so the time complexity is 8t n by 2 plus n square. Here 8 represents the number of multiplications. How many number of multiplications are there? 2, 2, 2, 2. That is 8 multiplications are there plus n square. n square is nothing but uh, how much time that can take to perform the addition. Okay. So that is n square. So this is the recurrence relation that can be used to perform matrix multiplication between two matrices with the size n by n. Okay. So by calculating this recurrence relation by using substitution method or a master method. So the, comple the time complexity for matrix multiplication is P of n is equal to big O of n cube. Okay. So here we have to take only 2 by 2 matrix that is a small problem. So that 2 by 2 matrix can be treated as a small problem. Okay, the Strachan's matrix multiplication is developed by Walker's fraction. So this uh, Strachan's matrix multiplication was developed by Walker's fraction. Okay, it is uh, the Strachan's matrix multiplication is faster than conventional matrix multiplication. Okay, next one here the divide and conquer strategy suggests that another way to compute the product of 2 n by n matrices. Here we have to use the divide and conquer technique if the size of the matrix is greater than 2. Okay, so here by using this technique how to perform the matrix multipli multiplication by using Strachan's matrix multiplication, then we have to reduce some, <coughs> we have to reduce some number of multiplication operations that are replaced by using addition operation. So then cost of the matrix multiplication is reduced. Generally, so multiplication requires more cost compared to the addition. So addition requires less cost. So compared to the multiplication. So here in the Strachan's matrix multiplication, there are uh, eight multiplications are there. These eight multiplications are reduced into seven multiplication. So because of that reason, the cost is also reduced and the time complexity is same. So time complexity is slightly approximately same. Okay, here in the conventional matrix multiplication, the time complexity is big O of n cube. But in the case of Strachan's matrix multiplication, the time complexity is big O of big O of n power 2.81 that is slight changes okay so this slight changes can be occurred because of one matrix multiplication is reduced 
by using addition operation because multiplication requires more cost compared to the addition operation previously we have seen if the matrix size is n by n where n is equal to 2 then how to perform multiplication between the matrices a and b so that require so c c11 c12 c21 c22 so that has eight multiplications and four additions now we have to improve the size of the matrix that is n by n where n is equal to 4 so if n is equal to 4 so that is how to perform matrix multiplication <coughs> matrix multiplication that we have shown so here imagine that a and b are two matrices are partitioned into four square sub matrices so here we have to apply the divide and conquer technique okay now each and every matrix can be partitioned into n by 2 and n by 2 matrices so so that the given matrix a can be partitioned into four n by 2 and n by 2 matrices again matrix b is also partitioned into four n by 2 and n by 2 matrices Then the product AB can be computed by using the formulas C11, C12, C21, C22 for the product of 2 into 2 matrices. After partitioning the given matrices A and B, so N by 2 and N by 2 matrices, then we have to calculate C12, C2, C1, C11, C12, C21 and C22. Okay. So, this is the given matrix A. This is 4 by 4 matrix and this is the given matrix B that is also 4 by 4 matrix. So, each matrix is divided into n by 2 and n by 2 parts. So, the given matrix A can be partitioned into so 2 by 2. So, this is 2 by 2 matrix and this is also 2 by 2 matrix this is also 2 by 2 matrix and this is also 2 by 2 matrix so after applying the divide and conquer technique so the given matrix a is partitioned into four n by 2 and n by 2 matrices again the matrix b is also partitioned into four n by 2 and n by 2 matrices okay so the first part is A11, the second part is A12, the third part is A21, fourth part is A22. In the same way, the first part is B11, the second part is B12, the third part is B21 and fourth part is B22. Again, the matrix can be formed as so 2 by 2 matrices. So then we have to found uh, C11, C12, C21. C22. We can attempt to reformulate the equations for C of ij so as to have fewer multiplications and possibly more additions. So multiplication cost is more than addition cost. Next, Walker's fashion has discovered one way so to perform the matrix multiplication <coughs> that have uh, 18 additions or subtractions and 7 multiplication. Here, Walker's fraction developed a way to perform the matrix multiplication of uh, A and B matrices. So, by using only 7, 7 multiplications and 18 additions or subtractions. So, he has to develop 
some equations to perform the matrix multiplication. Okay. So here, 7 multiplications and 18 additions or subtraction. So in this one, first we have to calculate 7 equations that is P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. So in this one, uh, in these equations, so there are 7 multiplications and 10 additions or subtractions are there. By using these 7 equations, we have to formulate C11, C12, C21 and C22. So total by combining these 7 equations P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and C11, C12, C21, C22 total so 7 multiplications and 18 additions are subtractions. But in the case of 7 equations P, Q, R, S, T, U, V only 7 multiplications and 10 additions or subtractions are there. So after applying the divide and conquer technique of 4 by 4 matrix, then we have to get this one. So the matrix A contains only A11, A12, A21, A22. Matrix B contains B11, B12, B21, B22. So by using these two matrices, first we have to found out seven equations. So after that, by using these seven equations, we have to found C11, C12, C21, C22. So first one, the equation P is equal to, first we have to combine diagonal elements. So, A11 plus A22 is multiplied with adding diagonal elements in matrix B. So, B11 plus B22. So, adding diagonal elements in matrix A, that is A11 plus A22, adding diagonal elements in matrix B, B11 plus B22. So both are multiplied. Second one, Q is equal to, next we have to add these two, A21 plus A22. A21 plus A22 is multiplied with B11. Is multiplied with B11. Next. R is equal to subtracting the second column B12 minus B22 is multiplied with A11. Next. S is equal to S is equal to, we have to combine the first row. So that is A11 plus A12 is multiplied with B22. This one. Next T is equal to A22 So A22 then T21 minus B11. B21 minus B11. Next. U is equal to we have to subtract these columns. So that is A21 minus A11 into first row B11 plus B12. B is equal to, now subtracting this column, A12 minus A22 into 
b21 plus b22 okay so these are the seven equations by using these seven equations we have to found c11 c12 c21 c22 so in these seven equations okay how many number of multiplications have there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven multiplications are there in p q r s t u v equations how many number of additions or subtractions are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 additions or subtractions are there 7 multiplications are there okay next we have to find out c11 <coughs> C11 is equal to P plus S minus T plus B. So P plus S plus minus T plus B. C12 is equal to R plus T. C21 is equal to Q plus S. C22 is equal to P plus <coughs> P plus R minus U. Minus Q. P plus R minus Q plus U. So in this one, there are uh, seven multiplications are there and ten additions are subtractions. By using these seven equations, we have to found that C11, C12, C22. <coughs> in this one, how many number of additions are there? So, one additions or subtractions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, here 10 additions or subtractions are there. Here, 8, eight additions or subtractions are there. Total, there are 18 additions or subtractions. In this one, there are no multiplications are there. In this one, there are only 7 multiplications are there. So, by using these Strachan's matrix multiplication, we have to require 7 multiplications and 18 additions or subtractions. So, in the conventional matrix multiplication, we have to require, so 8 additions, sorry, 8 multiplications, okay, 8 multiplications and 4 additions four additions okay so by using this uh, walker strachan's multiplication so in this one the matrix multiplication is more cost compared to the matrix additions so now we have to reduce fewer multiplications that can be replaced by using some number of additions or subtractions. In the conventional matrix multiplication, we have to require 8 multiplications. So, by using this Strachan's matrix multiplication in this one, so there are 7 multiplications out there. Now, we have to reduce 1 multiplication. So, that can be replaced by fewer number of uh, additions are subtractions. So, this is the description about the Strachan's matrix multiplication. The computing time record
required for performing for performing Strassen's matrix multiplication. Strassen's matrix multiplication. is P of N is equal to B if N less than or equal to 2. If N greater than 2, 70 N by 2 plus A N square. So here if the size of the matrix n less than or equal to 2, so how much time pre required? Constant B time is required. If the matrix size is greater than 2, so the time required for performing Strachan's matrix multiplication is 70 n by 2 plus a n square. Here 7 is nothing but finally we require 7 multiplications. So this is 7 and A is constant that is A value is equal to 18. 18 n square. n square is nothing but addition, matrix addition. So for performing 18 additions or subtractions, how much time required is A n square where A is constant. For performing 7 multiplications, so how much time is required? 70 n by 2. So now we have to take, so T of n is equal to, so 70 n by 2 plus a n square. So this is equation 1. So substitute n by 2 in place of n in equation 1. So that is P of in the, in the place of n we have to substitute n by 2. n by 2 is equal to 7 into P into we have to place n by 2 in place of n plus a into so n by 2 square. So then we get 70 n by 4 plus a n square by 4. So this is equation 2. Next, substitute n by 4 in place of n in equation 1. So then p of n by 4 is equal to 7 into t into we have to replace n by 4 in place of n plus a into n by 4 whole square. So that is equal to 70 n by 4 by 2 that is n by 8 plus a n square by 16. Okay. So now this is equation 3. Okay. Now, <coughs> whatever the value we are getting, P of n by 2, this value is substituted in equation. So now, substitute equation 2 in equation 1. So then P of n is equal to 7 P of n by 2. What is the value of P of n by 2? So this is the value. Okay, what is the value of P of n by 2? So P of n by 2 is nothing but this value is substituted in this place. So that is 70 
n by 4 plus a n square by 4 plus this is a n square. So then multiplying 7, 7 into 7 that is 49 t n by 4 plus 7a n square by 4 plus a n square. Okay. So now this is the equation 4. Okay. Now here t of n by 4 is there. What is the value of t of n by 4? So t of n by 4 value is this is. So now equation 3 is substituted in equation 4. Equation 3 is substituted in equation 4. Okay. So now T of n is equal to what is 49 into what is the value of T of n by 4? This is T of n by 4 value. So, 70 n by 8 plus a n square by 16 plus this value. 7 a n square by 4 plus a n square. So, now 49 into 7 that is 343 t into n by 8 plus 49 a n square by 16 plus 7 a n square by 4 plus a n square. <coughs> now it can be written as sub 343 can be written as 7 cube. 7 cube t into n by 2 power 3 plus now we have to common a n square here a n square is there a n square there a n square so a n square is common so this is a n square 1 plus and this is 7 by 4 plus and this is 7 by 4 whole square. Okay. 49 by 16 can be written as 7 by 49 by 16. 49 by 16 is nothing but 7 by 4 whole square. Okay. So now the k term is this <coughs> k term is 7 power k into T of n by 2 power k plus a n square into now this can be written as 7 by 4 whole power k. Okay. If the k value is 0, 7 by 4 whole power 0. That is 1. If k value is equal to 1, 7 by 4 whole power 1. That is 7 by 4. If k value is equal to 2, that is 7 by 4 whole square. So up to this is the k term. So now <coughs> n by 2 power k is equal to 1. Okay. So now this value is totally so t of 1. Okay. n by 2 power k is equal to 1. So now it becomes t of 1. 1. T of 1 value is nothing but that is B. Here N is equal to 2 power K apply log on both sides. Apply log on both sides. So that is log N log 2 power k base 2. So that is equal to k into log 2 base 2. So
so that is equal to k into 1 that is equal to k k value is substituted in equation 5 in equation 5 so then 7 k value is equal to log n base 2 k value is equal to log n log n base 2 that is n value is 2 power k by 2 power k plus a n square into 7 by 4 whole power so log n base 2 so after substituting this a value in this equation now this equation becomes this one so that is 7 log n base 2 so this value is 1 plus a n square into it can be written as so a by b whole power log n it can be written as a log n by b log n that is 7 log n base 2 divided by 4 log n base 2 so now this 7 log n base 2 plus a n square so 7 into log n base 2 divided by 2 can be written as 2 power 2 so log n base 2 ok this is 7 log n base 2 plus a n square is 7 log n base 2 divided by so this can be written as n square so now n square n square cancel so it can be written as this is the formula if by using this formula it can be written as n power log 2 power 7 plus a into 7 log 2 power n so here a is constant a is constant so now n log 2 power 7 plus 7 log 2 power n so in this one which is the upper bound upper bound is the n so therefore big O of n power log 2 power 7 so that is equal to big O of n power 2.81 so the time complexity of the time complexity of Strations matrix multiplication matrix multiplication is big O of n power two point eight one. So this is the time complexity of Strachan's matrix multiplication. So the Strachan's matrix multiplication is big O of n power 2.81 time complexity. The conventional or normal matrix multiplication is big O of n cube. Okay. So this is the description about uh, Strachan's matrix multiplication and its time complexity so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe subscribe my channel so divela srinivasa rao
better save myself. Thank you.